Yo, yeah, what up everybody? ETA on the EUC is currently August 8th. It's 9.23 p.m. Yeah, it's gonna be sprinkling a little bit. A little bit of raining. Uh, but I want to record, so here we are. I'm going to be out till six or something. I don't know. Till 6 a.m., something like that. I might be out uh, not that late or that early or whatever you want to call it because it's going to rain pretty heavy around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Or I might be out that late, but I might not be record. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Right off the bat, we have a matching order that's like going all the way up halfway Central Park and like I've been doing a lot of like orders going halfway up Central Park and then what happens is you go up there it's gonna be busy by the way I think so yeah I just got to order 20 minutes going south to Bachi to Bachi <laughs> anyway let's take it but uh yeah what happens is you get an order and you go up towards uh, Central Park in that area and then for some reason it just wants to keep you up there. So not only are you up there and you got to like cross over Central Park. Alright, so Central Park's right in the middle and there's basically like re residencies on one side and then on the other. And what happens is... Got another order. Cinco de Mayo like 16 minutes or something, I don't even know where it's going. But what happens is when you go up towards Central Park, so you're stuck up there, and then you have to keep crossing back and forth across Central Park for like every single order. And then Central Park closes at like 2 a.m. or something. And so then you have to like take a special road to cross Central Park. So not only are you stuck up there, but it's like a pain in the ass to get to drop offs. And you have to decline some orders because it just wants to keep taking you up. Like it, it's rare that the orders want to take you down. Like every fucking order just wants to go up and up and up and up. And eventually, if you were to take every order, you'd be up in the Bronx. Then you'd be up in White Plains. Then you'd be up in fucking Connecticut or something. So you, you have to decline orders. Like, and once again, that's one reason why I... Uh, stay under Central Park, or I like to stay under Central Park, although like I said, I've been doing a lot of orders around Central Park area lately, but anyway, why am I on the bike? I am on the bike because my other electric unicycles are down. They work, kind of, the 16X. I was getting a hall sensor warning, so I just gotta buy a couple things, see if I just test at the hall sensor, but I haven't done that yet because I've been busy. And then the Sherman Max, well, I broke a fucking axle bolt because I, I don't know, I guess I like torqued it too tight. So I snapped the bolt and it's like the last bolt you want to snap is the fucking axle bolt. Snapped it so it's stuck in the fucking axle with Loctite on it. And basically I can't get it off. I've tried everything, trust me, long story. I've tried vice grips, I tried the hammer method. Oh my God, I've tried uh, <laughs> JB Weld. Fuck, I've drilled a hole in it, Jesus. So basically, long story short, I have to buy a fucking welder, which should come in the next four days or something like that. And I gotta weld a fucking nut to it so I can unscrew the bitch. And if that don't work, my only option after that <sighs> is to tap it out, basically drill it out, which is the last thing I'm gonna do because I don't wanna ruin the threads. Cause you can't just buy axle on these things cause the axle's like infused with the motor. So like if you can't get the fucking bolts out, the stuck axle bolts and you gotta buy a whole fucking motor, bro. It's like, damn. Anyway, long story, but yeah, that's why I'm on the bike. Oh, and by the way, even though I'm scheduled like this whole shift with Uber, I'm gonna be trying to log in with uh, Grubhub because I've been hearing a lot of people getting kicked off Grubhub because they can't log in because ever since the mandate, it's harder to log in, so they can't log in, they can't get schedules, and Grubhub's basically kicking people off that haven't worked for a while with them. And that's happening to a lot of people because no one can log in, including myself. So 
I got this email, you can see right here, basically saying that, hey, we noticed that you haven't delivered in three weeks. We just wanna know if you're taking a break. AKA that's Grubhub trying to say, hey, look, dude, we noticed that you're not doing any deliveries. If you're not gonna do any deliveries, we're, this is kind of a warning, bro, that you better start doing deliveries. We're gonna kick you off like all your buddies. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to get on with Grubhub so I don't get fucking kicked off the platform. Cause once you get kicked off, there's a waiting list that is for infinity and you will never be able to get back on, especially after the mandate. So definitely gonna be trying to get on Grubhub. Which is gonna be difficult, but. There's a ghost kitchen, by the way. Almost guarantee once I like put this in my bag, there's gonna be another order that I gotta get in here. I don't know why, I just got that feeling. It always happens. Verify order, order verified, picked up. Nope. The next one's a little further down, so the next pickup's next a little further down. Ooh, ah, the bike. Cannondale. Uh, I forgot what it is. I'll leave a thing here to let you know what it is, but. Yeah, cheap old, cheap old bike, but it works. Fuck, dude, I did like, I spent more repairs on this bike than, I, than what I bought it for. Basically, I bought this bike when my electric unicycles, when all my electric unicycles went down the first time, I'm like, fuck, bro, I gotta work, so I'm sitting there twiddling my thumbs. I'm like, damn, I gotta buy a bike or something to work. And they were selling these, um, they were selling this bike locally. It was like a, um, like a touring, touring uh, place where like people basically like did tours on bicycles. It's like a company. And so they're trying to sell this bike. It was like around 200 bucks or something. I'm like, okay, cool, fuck it. Obviously it was used, I bought it. And then not too long after that, a whole bunch of things started happening to the bike. Let's just say I spent like 600, maybe $700 on repairs, basically a whole new fucking bike, except like the frame, because it needed it. And it's not like I was just like, oh, let's just fix up the bike. No, it's like, you gotta fix up the bike or it's not gonna ride type deal. So I had to like do that. Hey, at least we got new parts, right? All right, here's the second pickup right here. And uh, it's really not as bad as you think, as long as you got like good tires and everything's inflated and shit. It's really not that tiring, at least for me here in Manhattan. Not too many hills or anything, so I can go. I can go all day on this if I wanted, but it's like working out. It's that, that first week or whatever, you're sore, and then after that, you kind of get used to it. That's kind of how it is with the bike, but fuck, it's starting to rain a little bit. Six two F. Cool. Thank you. So, I gotta remind myself. Logging with Grubhub. Logging with Grubhub. At least try to log in with Grubhub. Fuck. Gotta keep hitting that toggle button. Basically, until we get lucky, by toggle button, let me firm this. Nope. 
by toggle button. <sighs> by toggle button, I mean this thing right here. Toggle. Come back later. Gotta fucking keep hitting that until it says, oh, you can deliver somehow, erratically. <sighs> and the problem with that, we're trying to log in with Grubhub is like, especially with Uber, because like when you get when you get close to dropping off the order, they su they suggest another order like Uber, and they do that on purpose to keep you busy, to keep you taking order after order after order. So like if I was to go drop off this order, another order would pop up, and they do that on purpose. So if I'm trying to log in with Grubhub, I have to like cancel orders. Or I have to pause Uber. So I don't know. Maybe when I get close to drop off the order, I'll I'll stop my my orders and see if I can log in with Grubhub. Because I can't log in with Grubhub now. Because if I do, and orders pop up, my fucking acceptance rate will go down. Blah blah blah. Good times. Good times. Yeah, it's raining pretty good right now. So I think what I'm gonna do, like this shit's not waterproof, the GoPro, if it's in my fucking mount. And the wireless mic's not fucking waterproof, so I'm gonna put the wireless mic in my pocket and we, I'll just record these drop-offs and then I'm gonna wait a little bit for the rain to subside so I can start recording more. So let me, let me put the shit in my pocket, we'll go to the drop-off. hit the button he's one of those customers that are just looking at their phone watching me every minute like doing fucking I don't know Thanks. Next drop off is about four minutes to the north. That's me, I always has. <laughs> I know that like they're wary of like random dudes, right? So it's like always like weird for me. It's like oh. Thank you. Hello. Uh, pick up for this person. Cool. No yep, you got it. Megan. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Oh, yeah. Food delivery? Yeah, Vachon. Uh, no, uh, Kiki? Yeah. Yep, yeah, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. I'm thirsty. I'm getting fucking Dunkin'. And then I'm taking a break from recording. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, uh, let me get a large iced coffee. It's uh, one pump of the donut flavor and then one pump of the cream, the regular cream, normal cream. Yeah, I don't like my shit too sugary. You guys that get like five pumps of sugar and shit. It's absolutely disgusting. This is how I do it. Bring a fucking big bottle with you like this. Fuck, this fucking ice is fucking up my flow, bro. So I would've had the perfect transfer of liquid with the ice, brah. Stop ice blocking, brah. Damn, that shit didn't give me nothing. Holy fuck. Damn, Duncan, I see how you do. Give us a whole bunch of ice and no fucking Duncan, huh?